This video will demonstrate how to use the math function, how to take measurements, and how to use the cursor. I've connected a 1 kHz sinusoidal wave to channel 1 and a 2 kHz sinusoidal wave to channel 2. Both have an amplitude of 1 volt. The math menu can be displayed by pressing this button. Notice the math waveform being displayed. The current operation is adding the two signals together. This rotating knob can be used to change the vertical scale factor of the MAF waveform. It can also be used to change the vertical position. The two signals can be subtracted from each other. Channel 2 subtracted from channel 1 or channel 1 subtracted from channel 2. The two signals can also be multiplied together. Next, I will show how to take measurements. Pressing the measurement button will display several measurements. You will see that both channel 1 and channel 2 have a peak to peak amplitude of 2 volt. And the math waveform has a peak to peak amplitude of 1.8 volt. Channel 1 has a frequency of 1 kHz and channel 2 has a frequency of 2 kHz. You can select and change any one of these measurements. The source can be changed to channel 1, channel 2 or the MAF waveform. The type of measurement can be frequency, period, mean, peak to peak amplitude, RMS, minimum, maximum, etc. Once the source and type of measurement is selected, you can return and view all the other measurements. Next, I will show how to make cursor measurements. A 1 kHz sinusoidal wave with amplitude of 1 volt is connected to both channels. The input signal to channel 1 has a phase of 0 and the input signal to channel 2 has a phase of minus 70 degrees. Selecting the cursor button will display the cursor menu. Currently the cursor is turned off. It can be turned on by changing the type to amplitude. This setting will measure the voltage difference between cursor 1 and cursor 2. The rotating knob can be used to change the vertical position of cursor 1. To change the vertical position of cursor 2, it first has to be selected. Changing the type to time will measure the time difference between cursor 1 and cursor 2. To measure the time difference between two waveforms, move the cursors to the points where both waveforms are equal. I'm going to move the cursors where both waveforms are 0. To improve the reading, you can zoom in using the horizontal scale factor. In this case, the time difference equals 196 microseconds, which corresponds to minus 70 degrees.